Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video we're going to go through the installation procedure of our Nuendo MIDI controller for Stream Deck pack. This is the Mac version of the installation process. If you're looking for the Windows version, there's the link in the description below. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here, and in particular we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top of the right here, we're going to enter MIDI. And it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. Say so, okay. And it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use Audio MIDI Setup, and you can find that in your Applications folder, Utilities folder. There it is, Audio MIDI Setup. And uh, you, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently, there's no ports that are available here, so we're going to leave this device name blank. Very important. You have to leave that blank. And we're going to click on the plus icon down here. So clicking on that, it gives us a new port. We're going to click on this to rename it. Now, the case sensitivity is very important on this. So we're going to type in Mackie Dada. Capital M, capital D. We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackey. So capital D to capital M, Da to Mackey. Click the plus sign again. And we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename. And this will be DA track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So DA track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click Apply. And we're done. We've added our ports. Now the next thing we're going to do is we want to copy the graphics that the MIDI profile looks for when it's loaded. So we have to put those graphics in a specific location. So if you go to your Nuendo uh, MIDI controller for Stream Deck download folder you got from Sideshow FX, you'll find this folder here, MIDI Graphics. Open it up and divide it into Mac and Windows. And we see this folder here, Trevaliga Spell. This folder needs to be copied in its entirety over to your Documents folder. So you just click and drag it and drop it into your Documents. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do it at the moment. So once that's in Documents, when you load up the profile, it will be looking for those graphics in that location. So now we want to import the Stream Deck profile into our software. So we go to the Stream Deck software, click on Preferences, go to the bottom of the menu here, and we'll select Import. We'll navigate to Nuendo MIDI Controller for Stream Deck download folder you got from Sideshow FX, and inside that folder is Stream Deck Profiles folder, and we're going to fold down the Mac. And you'll see that there are two different profiles here in the Mac folder. One is for the regular 15 key device, and one is for the XL device. I'm on an XL device at this point, so I would select this one to import. And once it's imported, this is uh, the main page that you're going to be presented with. Now inside the download folder as well, there is a PDF that gives you detailed instructions of the installation, as well as a navigation for how to work your way around this profile itself. Now you may have noticed in the Stream Deck Profiles folder that we had open, there's a two copy folder. And there are two more profiles in here, one for the regular 15 key and one for the XL device. Now what these are, and I'll pull it open here, 
And this is what the two copy looks like. It is just uh, one folder here. Inside the folder is the exact same layout of the profile we just loaded in. And the difference is it's all packed into one folder here. So the reason for this is you can take this one particular folder and do a right click, select copy, and go to any profile on your system. Let's say, for example, you have our Nuendo Pro Profile set, which is our shortcuts pack for Nuendo. Well, you can, uh, since that's loaded into our clipboard, we can paste it into any slot we want. If we didn't want a particular tool here, uh, because these are all taken, or we can go inside any one of these folders, find an available slot, and select paste. And now we have the entire MIDI controller profile inside of our Pro Profiles pack for Nuendo. So the next thing we're going to do is launch Nuendo. And we're going to go to the top menu here, Studio, Studio Setup. And under our MIDI port setup here on the left hand pane, your ports will likely look different uh, than mine do here. But what you should see is a Maki to Da and a Stream Deck to DAW track, and a DAW to Maki, and a DAW track to Stream Deck. You should be able to see those since we just installed those uh, MIDI ports in the previous step. So what we need to do is in the Maki to DAW, we're going to select Visible. In the Stream Deck to DAW track, Visible, and we'll also select In All MIDI. For the Out port, we'll select DAW to Maki, make it visible and DAW track to Stream Deck, make it visible. Now back over to the left hand pane, we want to add a device here. So we'll click on this and we're gonna pull down to a Mackie control device. Now the first thing we want to do is set the input and output. So we'll select the input to Mackie to DAW and the output DAW to Mackie. And we wanna go down to the, and assign a few of these, uh, these buttons here. So on F1, we want to click on Category, and we're going to select Add Track Category, and under Command, we'll select Audio Mono. We'll go down to F2, we're also doing Add Track here, and under Command, we'll select Instrument. Now over to F3, we're gonna click on the category, and this time we're going to scroll down to Transport, and under Command, we'll select Activate Metronome. Now under F4, the category is going to be Project. And the command will be Select Track Previous. On F5, it will also be Project. And this will be Select Track Next. We apply that and say OK when we're done with the studio setup. And that's it. You're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page. Should you have any concerns or any difficulties, you should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.